Clover fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express on this gorgeous Monday afternoon. Now there's nothing more comforting than a warm slice of homemade bread made with only a few ingredients and the freshest milk out there. The fresh milk bread recipe is bound to be a popular one in your kitchen thanks to Clover Fresh Milk. So keep the butter and cheese ready. SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent to your device. SMSs cost 1 rand 50 and free SMSs do not apply. Michaela, I'm keen to get stuck in. I see that you've already gone ahead of me. Exactly. So we started the process already and here we have our fresh clover cream and yep. our fresh clover milk and okay. um, we've added our sugar into there and we've let our yeast bloom. Okay. Always put the yeast in at room temperature or body temperature. Mm -hmm. um, Let body me help you. Thank you. So I also need this. Okay. You so, pour the wet into the dry. So room and body temperature. Yes. So when you dip your finger into the milk, it needs to feel like nothing. That's how you know if something yeah. is body temperature. Okay. And our salt. Got you. And we give that a mix. All right. Okay, uh, let me assist you there. We'll I've actually quickly. never heard of a milk bread. Milk breads are generally quite soft. Okay. They have a really good texture. Mm. Um, also, there's quite a bit of sugar in here, so it's got more of a sweet flavor. It's more like a dessert roll. Oh, nice, okay. So we're just going to flour our surface. Oh, to make sure it doesn't stick. I yes. can help you with that. And we are going to drop our dough onto the surface. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel that. Okay. Exactly. I feel that How soft is that? Uh -huh. It makes all the difference, hey? So now we just I should have combined it all together. Flour on my hands too, huh? Yes. So my way of doing kneading is to always go in and out. press it out. In so you and can out. give that a try. If you I like. didn't even know there was technique to baking. Everyone but here we are. Their own. <laughs> Some people also prefer to do it by going one across, one across. It okay. all depends on actually how much height you have. I find I'm quite short, so yes. I need to put as much like Force Power into, into it. it. Exactly. Okay. I mean, who needs the gym when you can just knead bread? Exactly. Right? I mean, my arms are working here, but then again, I'm not the fittest person in South Africa. So well, you seem pretty fit, so that's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. So once Next. we've done that, we're just going to pop it into a bowl mm -hmm. and we're going to cover it with some cling wrap. Okay, now my hands are all dirty, but it's Mine cool. too, it's okay. Don't you just love the smell of yeast, though? It's such I like do. a comforting, warm. And Smile. especially with the subject matter on the show today, we need something that's just going to warm our hearts. Exactly. And I think that this bread is exactly that. So then Perfect. we're going to let this sit until it's um, risen to double the size. Okay. And then once it has risen and proved, mm -hmm. we then tap it out. You then use your fingers to push it back down a little. Okay. Uh, roll it into whatever sh shape you want. I usually do a circle. Okay, and then what okay. you do is you wrap the bread in under itself. Okay. So you fold it in and you put it into the tin, mm -hmm. like it is. And then we're just going to egg wash it. This has some milk and some okay. egg. And why do we egg wash it? Just for some people who aren't bakers out there? It gives it that luscious sheen and oh, it nice. also helps with the colouring. Oh, I see how you've done that perfectly here on the finished product. Exactly, how it beautiful so is good. that loaf? Yeah. And then once we've done, we done, we are done with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, you put this in the oven at mm -hmm. 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or until it's the right kind of golden brown. You don't mm. want it too brown. Yes. And okay. if it does start to look a little bit too brown, you just turn your oven down a little bit. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Michaela. Pleasure. I think I'm definitely going to be trying this later. And I know that later also we're going to do step two. Exactly. Making French toast. It's going to be so delicious. Yummy! <laughs> now remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent to you. And if you need to see how this is made one more time, here's a quick recap. Made with love by Clover.